This video is sponsored by Enya Music. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Katie. I am a music teacher. I teach ukulele, guitar, voice. I'm also a gear enthusiast. So today is going to be a review on the tenor Nova Pro from Enya. I also have the concert here, and then I also have this little bitty soprano right here with me. So I'm going to be going into some specs, I'm going to be going into some sound samples and some comparisons between the concert and the soprano so that you can just get an overall feel for what might be best for you. Now all the instruments featured in this video, they were all sent to me by Enya. So that's something that I have to disclose to you, but there's also some links in the description box below. If you're interested in these instruments, those links are affiliated. So you can shop through my links if you'd like to, and a portion of that sale will go back to supporting my channel. So thank you so much for your support. If you choose to use another link, that's totally fine, but just wanted to let you know that if you're interested, the links are in the description box below. This is the Nova Pro tenor sized ukulele. It's 26 inches long, weighs 1.45 pounds with two inch body thickness. It has 18 metal frets with rounded edges, fret markers along the fifth, seventh, 10th, and 12th frets, a solid headstock and open geared tuners, strap buttons, sound port and cutaway. It also features an arched back and a radius fretboard the body is constructed of a carbon fiber and plastic composite material. It's heat resistant, safe to leave in the car, and water resistant, easy to clean. The bridge is carbon fiber and polycarbonate. The strings featured on this instrument are Diderio EJ87 tenor strings. And the price is $139.99. It does have some extra accessories, so it does come with this shell-like case. So to keep it from getting scratched, if you want to, it's nice and slim, rounded edges. So it's a shell-like case, but it is does have some flexibility to it. It's not a hard shell case, but it is more so of a shell-like molded case. So if you're looking for something that has like a little extra crush proof protection, then you would have to use a different case. It does come with a strap, this little bag, and then these strings. I think these strings are the strings that come with the other ukuleles, the soprano and the concert. It has a drill through bridge versus a tie block. So keep that in mind if you wanna change the strings, but it does come with a string instruction manual so you can change them. The capo is a plastic capo, and I think that this will do the job really well if you want to use a capo. It's nice that they have it as an option. For me personally, I like to use I like to use a capo if I'm using a capo on a ukulele, uh, one with an, an adjustable tension. I, I like that. This is a Shub Banjo Ukulele Mandolin Capo, and you can adjust the tension. That means you can adjust the amount of pressure exerted on the strings. I actually have a video all about guitar and ukulele capos. If you are interested in the different types of capos, if you didn't know, didn't know that there's different um, makes and models and advantages and disadvantages to them, I'm going to put that in the cards above and the description box below. Hopefully you find that useful.
So let's say that you have UAS, ukulele acquisition syndrome. Okay, a lot of us have that, <laughs> let's be honest. And you have the soprano and you have the concert or you have one or the other and you're thinking, ooh, the tenor, that would be really awesome. Let's go over the similarities and differences between all three. The soprano is 21 inches in length, the concert 23 inches, and the tenor 26 inches. The soprano has 17 frets, the concert 18, and the tenor 18. With each model, you notice that progressively the necks get longer, the nut width wider, and the frets are more widely spaced. You may want to keep that in mind depending upon what you know to be comfortable for you. If you prefer more space between the frets, a longer neck, and a wider nut width, one of the larger models may suit you better. Now I'd say the main difference between the Soprano Concert and with the Tenor Pro is just the feel of the actual instrument and how it feels in your hands. The main difference that I feel is that the Tenor feels heavier, more substantial than the Concert and the Soprano, and the strings feel thicker with the EJ87s. The metal frets allow you to string it with a low G, which is not recommended with the molded frets on the Concert and the Soprano because the steel strings can wear down the frets over time. So the strings do feel a little bit thicker, with the D'Addario strings, but um, I think it does give a nice beefier tone <laughs> than the than the concert. So that was the tenor. All right, then there's the concert. So I can definitely tell a difference between the tone of the strings. Here are my personal thoughts about this particular ukulele. I like the fact that it's a low maintenance, durable instrument, and you don't have to worry about cracks and fret sprout. I don't know if you're like me, but high maintenance things, they make me nervous. You know how like when you have something that's really beautiful and really fancy, it's really nice to have it, but also it can make you a little nervous. I live in a place where the weather can be very up and very down in temperature. So it can get really hot and humid in the summertime, but it can get very cold in the winter time. So something that is of low maintenance to me, but also of, uh, of uh, high performance, so to speak, is a high priority for me. And so if that's something that is weighing heavily upon your mind of, hey, I just want something that is going to keep its structural integrity over time, and I want something that sounds decent. It doesn't feel like a toy. It feels like something that you would like to play on a regular basis and wouldn't feel like you're missing out with you know another ukulele, at least in my opinion. People ask me about the action of instruments and here's my disclaimer when purchasing instruments online. Is it guaranteed that the action on my instrument is going to be the action that you receive on your instrument? No, but I think it's going to be relatively um, relatively similar. Will you have perfect action or just have everything be adjusted and set up perfectly right out of the box? Sometimes, but other times you may not, so you may have to take it to a tech to adjust it to your specifications unless you're buying through an authorized dealer that already does setups before they put it in the box and ship it out to you. So you have to keep that in mind. With that being said, here's the action on the Soprano, the action on the Concert, and the action on the Nova Pro. Compared to the other two models, the action is taller on the Nova Pro. It doesn't really bother me. It's still very playable, but if that bothers you, make sure that you can take it into a tech because this portion right here can be adjusted because it's a separate piece. 
All right, I want to hear your opinions about this ukulele. Do you have the soprano? Do you have the concert? Do you have this one? What do you think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. I love reading what you have to say um, because it just helps me learn more about the depth of the instruments, what your experience is, and it just helps me think about things from a different perspective other than my own because that's the beauty of the internet. So I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope to hear from you soon. And yeah, <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Bye. Oh, and remember, you are loved.